What's good, YouTube family? There's three things that I want to bring y'all attention to today. One, y'all see I'm wearing the black Fear God Proverbs 1 7 Always Revenge Clothing t shirt. If y'all ain't follow me on Instagram, make sure that y'all follow me at Lake Phase. And if you go in my bio, you can see my Always Revenge Clothing page. Make sure that y'all follow that too because I'm gonna be posting a lot more and I'll be getting a lot more stuff made soon. So stay tuned for that. The other thing I want to bring to y'all attention is the Lake Phase Online Academy. I hope to be launching on January 1st. It's going to be a monthly subscription based academy. I haven't decided um, the price on it yet, but I promise that whatever the price is, I'm going to over deliver. And the third thing I want to bring to y'all attention is don't forget y'all. I have posted this on a video, but it didn't really get that many views. So hopefully this one does. So a lot more people can get into this rap or drawing or whatever you want to call it. But I'm giving away a microphone that costed like 175, something like that dollars that I've used in a lot of my previous videos. And then I'm giving away a new brand new boom arm. It's a blue boom arm that costs a hundred dollars. The reason I'm doing this is because I want to help somebody because first of all, I upgraded my microphone and then I bought two boom arms and I kept the one that I like better. But the other one's still a very good boom arm. It's a blue boom arm. And like I said, it's a hundred dollars. It's brand new. So and and the microphone screws into the boom arm, so you know it can hang. So if y'all are interested in that, you could cash at me or Venmo me. Both is at late phase. Um, the cash app has the money sign in front of late phase, but you can leave a comment if you want to do it. If you want to talk to me directly, you can leave a comment or you can go to my Instagram. You can DM me. Make sure y'all to like, comment, and subscribe, and also watch through this whole video. This helps me a lot and helps me continue to grow and to reach more people while using the gifts and abilities that God has given me to glorify him and his name and spread the gospel and to make him and his name known. Thank y'all for tuning into another video. I appreciate y'all. Let's get into the cut. God bless. To begin this cut, just like any other cut, I'm going to prep the hair. So you see, I'm combing the hair in the direction that I want it to lay. Combing through his beard real quick. I'm going to be performing a high taper today. So I'm going to put his body line in from the bottom of the vertical bar to the top of the ear. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to flip my trimmer and I'm going to hit his beard. I'll do this because I like my bald lines to be nice, clean, neat, and even. Because the bald line is like the foundation of the haircut and it's going to play a big factor in determining how clean and even of a cut that you can get. In the back, I'm going to do not so straight across. I'm going to make it kind of like a arch shape, but not too drastic. Make sure that both your bald lines on the sides of the head are even because you want your haircut to match, you know what I'm saying? You want it to be opposite reciprocal. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna pick through his beard. And now to establish my first guideline, I'm gonna flick out and go up about half an inch while I'm flicking out. After I have my guideline established, I'm gonna lay my blade flat and go to the top of the guideline. I'm gonna go over this multiple times just so I can ensure that every hair is the same length. Next, I'm going to close my lever halfway and go halfway up the guideline that we just established. After that, I'm going to close my lever a little bit more and tap the bottom of the line just to soften it up. Next, I'm going to close my lever all the way, tap the bottom line, and take it out completely. To begin fading with my comb, I like to use the big side of the comb, which is like a one and a half guard. And I like to start with my lever open. And y'all can see that I don't lay the comb flat on the head. You see how when it gets up into the curls, how I'm pulling the comb away from the head. After I do that and I have my blade open, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna close my lever and I'm gonna come down on the fade. And y'all can see how I'm not digging into the curls because I wanna have a smooth transition from dark to light. And you can see how this fade is just coming together and softening it up already. Now I'm gonna use the small side of my comb, which is like a zero guard. And y'all can see when I do this, I really am just pinpointing spots. So I'm just pinpointing dark spots, bringing them to the light and making the fade as smooth as possible. And y'all can see that the fade pretty much is coming together already. Now I'm gonna do a little bit of detail work and then I'm gonna take my sharp trimmer and I'm gonna take this bottom line out completely with my sharp trimmer and make it pretty bald. I'm not gonna use a shaver on him due to sensitive skin reasons. My message for today, y'all, uh, I kinda guess I got a couple messages, but I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna read just some things that I've had in my notes lately. It's a blessing to be a blessing. Teach what's taught. I have these verses, Matthew 28, 18 through 20. And Jesus came and spoke to them saying, all authority has been given to me in heaven and on earth. Go therefore and make disciples of all the nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son 
and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all things that I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you always, even to the end of the age. Amen. It's up to each and every one of us to use the gifts and abilities that God has given us to spread the gospel and to make God and his name known for us to grow closer to him, us to lead others to him, and us to help us to know more. Speak the name of Jesus over it before it speaks anything negative over you. There's power in the name of Jesus. Success is about how many people you lead to the knowledge of Christ. You gotta walk on your own two feet. Make sure that you're saying, doing, and being all God called you and created you to say, do and be. Be a prisoner of Christ. Be a man or woman of God with the fruits of the Spirit working in your life. Fulfill the desires of the Spirit so you don't fulfill the desires of the flesh. Now in this video, I know I usually don't do this, but I'm gonna go ahead and explain in the back. So it's really the same thing, except for your steps are gonna be like, your guidelines are gonna be a little bigger. So instead of going up like half an inch, we're going up like a full inch because we have more room to work. But it's the same thing to establish my first guideline. I'm gonna flick out um, to establish it and I'm gonna go about a full inch. Then I'm gonna lay my blade flat, go to the top of it. Next, I'm closing my lever halfway, which is what I'm doing right now. And I'm just going halfway up the guideline. Then I'm gonna close my lever a little bit more and hit the bottom of the guideline. Then I'm gonna close my lever all the way and tap the bottom line, taking it out completely. And y'all can see that how I made this like rainbow type of shape or this art shape. Uh, I just want to make sure that I keep that same shape while I'm fading. If that, Hopefully that makes sense. Now I have my number two guard and I'm just going up right up under the curls, making sure that I don't cut into his curls. But I'm just giving myself room to fade into. And y'all can see when I did cut into the curls, I flicked out. Now I have my number one guard on and I'm just going right up under where we just left off with the number two guard. And then I'm going to close my lever as I close my lever I'm gonna move down on the fade y'all can see how I just keep everything consistent and um making sure that I comb through every time right here for the line of preparation after I make sure the skin is clean I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna throw some holding spray in this here is trust me volume five I think yeah this is trust me volume five and then I'm gonna wipe everything in the direction that I want it to lay because I wanna stretch the hairs forward. Next, I'm gonna take my blow dryer, making sure that it's on cold and I'm make sure that everything is dry. All right, y'all, so, so I'm gonna go ahead, before I do the lineup, I'm gonna comb through just to stretch everything out one more time. And then I'm gonna start on the slant on the back of his neck. And y'all can see I'm not digging into it. I'm keeping it nice and natural. Just keeping it the shape of his head, the shape that it's already provided me and it's already given me. I'm just, uh, you know, just lining it at that shape. Right here, I'm gonna tap the back of his beard in, set my bar line, or set the line in. And then I'm gonna comb his beard backwards, hit the hairs just so anyway his beard is brushed. It's gonna be a nice, clean, nice clean line on this beard so once again y'all for the neckline i'm just going with the line that's already i'm keeping it natural and going with the line that and the shape that his head's giving me go ahead and clear the area i like to do that just because it gives me more of a visualization of where this line needs to be and then i'm gonna finish round it off on the top of the ear and you can go over things multiple times. Make sure that you comb the hairs out multiple times and cut at the line you already even done. Make sure that you uh, solidify your lineup. So for the front lineup, y'all, I like to start in the middle, work my way to the side. Once the front meets the side, I tap the vertical bar in, and then I do the same thing on the other side. Y'all can see I'm not pushing them back. He had a little bit of overhang. So I'm just keeping it at his natural lineup. You don't gotta push back and dig in to, to have people crispy. Get it natural and crispy as possible and like i said once the front meets the side i like it to tap in a vertical bar right here y'all i tap the vertical bar in with the hair brush combed all the way down now i'm gonna comb the hair sideways and i'm gonna cut these hairs sideways at the line that i already just created before i'm not gonna dig into it and just be very careful if you do do this technique make sure that you don't cut into the line that you already created 
Because then at that point, you're going to be pushing somebody back. Next, I'm going to rinse, repeat, and do the same thing on this side. So, like I said, I'm going to start in the middle. Once the front meets the middle, or once the front goes to the side, I'm going to tap the vertical bar in. I had gotten away, y'all, so I just edited it, but... You know, you can see this is natural before enhancements. We did not need any enhancements for this cut to be clean, but go ahead, get my boy right. I'm pretty sure he's going out of town or something. Maybe you just need a cut, but right here I'm going in with some Kiss Express. Now I'm gonna throw some fibers on top of it. Make sure that when you use enhancements that you keep it like a natural type of look, like a nat you naturally enhanced look, you know? Make sure that you don't have it just like too dark. At least that's what I like. I, I prefer a natural type of enhancement look to where you kind of got to play a guessing game. Like, is he enhanced or not? But y'all make sure that when you do line fibers up or you line enhancements up, that you line it up in the line you already have created. Um, Make sure you don't push no one back. Uh, trying to line enhancements up and make them crispy. Y'all can see Fate Butter line up extra crispy. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna tap the top of his mustache in. I'm gonna line the bottom of his mustache above his lip. Do the same thing on the other side. And y'all see his beard, how the top of it is like real light. That's cause the person that was cutting him before was pushing him down. I had suggested that we raise the top of his beard up so they're growing more full. And uh, he actually works in a shop right next to me. So his beard is actually growing in. And he, he told me the other day like, Lake, you saved my beard. So, you know what I'm saying? Make sure that you keep keeping people's beard up high. Don't be pushing beards down. Keep them up high because the hair is going to grow. Right here, I'm going to tap the top of his beard in, making sure that I stretch again. Make sure that I stretch the skin and hold the razor at a 45 degree angle. I'm going to hit the bottom, the back of his beard with the razor also. This is God is in the details, so I'll make sure that you pay attention to the details. Um, I'm going to do the same thing on this side, though. Right here. I'm going to hit the top of his line. Say something crazy to Haven. Nah, me and Haven just be playing around, though. I feel like sometimes clients be thinking it's serious, but, you know, it's all love we be playing. Love you, bro. Um, Chaka Z, man. Razor work official. Right there, y'all, when I hit him with that blow dryer, that's a little secret trick. Here, I'm going to tap the bottom of his beard. Line the bottom of his beard up. Keep it nice and full and thick but shape it into his face and this is the final cut y'all if y'all are able to sit through this 12 minute video of me i truly appreciate y'all if y'all came to my channel just because you like watching barber videos because it's satisfying i hope it satisfied you if you came to learn something i hope you take something from my game and apply it to yours and advance in your career your craft and your life and if you came for the message i hope it touched your heart your mind your soul and your body um hey if y'all ain't follow me on Instagram, make sure that y'all follow me because from now on, I'm going to start posting a clip on Fridays of the cut that I'm going to be posting on Sunday. So if y'all want like a little preview, make sure that y'all follow me on Instagram at Lake Fades. It's the same username. This is actually a barber that cuts in the shop. He literally cuts right next to me. He's also on YouTube. He's only posted reels, I think, so far, but I'm trying to get him to start posting tutorials so make sure that you follow him at major cuts or you can go to my instagram and he's tagged in the video that i uploaded of this cut also make sure that you subscribe and follow my big brother haven the groomer he also has a lot of content that he has saved up and he's gonna start posting on youtube and y'all gonna see that i promise you thank y'all for tuning into this video i hope to see you on the next one and god bless